All right, so we're checking out the only game with the most ridiculous intro ever made for a simulator game. It's Tourist Bus Simulator. No, I'm serious. When I first saw the intro that you get to this game, like the little cutscene, I thought I was about to play like a friggin' Predator game or something. It's it, well, here. Th this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, you believe me now? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we running like a bus company or are we trying to save the world from freaking aliens or something? Anyway, so here we are. We have to leave the airport and get into our car. What even are these stores? Finally, what the hell is that? Like some of the font isn't even capitalized here. Look at these models. Oh, it's like the, what? They couldn't. They couldn't afford the uh, the cell phone model, <laughs> so this guy's just tapping away at nothing. I'm not gonna lie, the dude has a very putty-like physique. It's a little disconcerting, actually. How is there such a thing as personal space in this game? You know, on Thief Simulator, you couldn't get into people. Oh, you can. Oh, mother of Jesus! You can see the balls of his eyes as well as his tongue. Oh, from this position, hold on. Dude, put your head back down. From this position, it looks very demonetization worthy. Let's continue onward. Oh, this place has a Game Bucks coffee. 10 out of 10. Where's Sports Bra Girl? Did she make it into this as well? They all use the same character models, right? It kind of seems that way. Like all these creatures seem to be the same as what we've seen in other simulator games. Did you see that intro from the from the tourist bus simulator game? I did, ma'am. That's why part of my hearing is now completely destroyed. <laughs> Who needs hearing when you can dial away at your invisible cell phone and slowly slip it into your pocket like a psycho? Madam? Have you been programmed with any AI? Or is it your job to just stand here sadly? Oh, they didn't give you a cell phone either. All right, whatever, we're out of here. So I put the game in, <laughs> this is our car. Couldn't, couldn't run it through the car wash or something like that before we came and pick it up. I put the game in realistic mode instead of easy mode. I, I don't really know what it does. I imagine it'll just make my life that much harder. Oh, the inside actually looks a lot better than the outside. All right, how realistic is the driving? <laughs> yeah, oh. You can't even run into people. I guess I should feel pretty bad that that was the very first thing that I tried to do. I'm gonna take this opportunity to mention the rear view mirror actually works. The side view mirrors work too. So what happens if you run into stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so you can kind of do little pit maneuvers on creatures, but it doesn't appear that we incur any penalty. So I, I appreciate that. There's no money lost just from, holy Jesus, bad driving. Oh yeah. We rolling on up to make those stacks. Welcome everyone to the business. Coming in hot. Uh. Company name. Uh, there we go. What? It's WTF. It's a uh, Western Transit Franchise Co. So this is our this is our company. I'm I don't really know what to expect. How do you open the door? Oh, you just kind of throw yourself into it and it opens. Get the first bus. Go to the computer and buy your first bus. Look at this. This place looks a lot better than our car. It looks pretty legit. Oh, we have uh we have post-it notes for ourselves, but I can't read them because it's as bad as my own handwriting. You boys like carrot-flavored cola? You should. I always like to come into a game and look at the little things that they're hoping no one ever looks at. We graduated from the University of Massachusetts. How do you like that? Alrighty, second-hand vehicles, the man lion's coach. Damn, what does it all mean? All right, I don't really know which one's better than any other ones. This one has a working toilet though. All these freaking buses have non-working toilets. That seems like the worst thing to go wrong on these types of buses. So I don't know, I'm gonna buy this one. All right, people, get your wieners ready because it's time to head over to the harbor and pick up our brand new bus. I hope it looks legit. What is going on with our parking area over here? Like it, it makes my business look more like a chop shop. Why is this up on a pallet? What? Oh, it's a buggy. Can you mess with this? What the hell? Can you put stuff together? Grab all the pieces and then assemble the vehicle? That's pretty cool. That's right. We still have the suck mobile over here, so we can use this in the meantime. It's like a gym over here? What What do you do there? You get like more fit? There's like a dating game mixed in with all this? Stop sign. Ah, bull crap. Top speed on this thing is pretty good. We're, oh my God, we're coming in hot. Uh, again, 
I realize that you have to put parts together to make the vehicles, but I'm really hoping that there's no damage in this game. Oh, we found the, the beach. It's the Playa Chica. Wait, doesn't that mean like girls beach? I, I don't, you know, mi vocabulario es muy pequeño, all right? My, my Spanish, I haven't used Spanish since like middle school. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, my car's still on. Welcome everyone to the friggin' man bus. Looks pretty good for an old beater. I think it only has like a couple, like 40,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers on it or something. Shouldn't be that bad. Still has that new bus smell on it. I appreciate it. So you go in here, active destination. What the hell? All right. What is this? Oh, that's what turns on to show people where we're going to. All right. What the hell? What is it? Is this copyrighted music? How do I turn this off? Everybody wing chung tonight. This can't be on YouTube. Oh God. <laughs> okay. We turn that off. Air conditioning with, what the hell key is that? Jesus, like a 30 step process just to get the bus out of here. Now this is what I'm talking about. Man, this makes you feel like a man. Okay, driving around this big beefy behemoth. Everyone afraid for their lives as we come screaming down the roadway. They saw what it was like when I drive just my SUV around this place, okay? Now that I've got this massive bus, I think there's like different ca- Oh, Jesus! Oh, there is body damage. Well, guess I need to be a little- mm, Guess I need to be a little bit more careful. I feel like this neighborhood was not made for this bus because these turns are a real pain in my ass. My plan is to make at least half of the people that are here on vacation leave with concussions and other injuries. Great, now after hearing that song on the radio, I have it stuck in my head. The Wing Chun song. Everybody have fun tonight. Oh, okay. Didn't know you could take those down. Guess you can. <laughs> All right. One way or another, we made it back to our company in one piece. Like all of my profit margin is going to go back to fixing this bus. Oh damn, we got a whole garage. Two. This actually looks a lot like the hideout from Thief Simulator. I literally feel like I've seen this setup somewhere. I can't, is that a violin? I can't remember, I can't put my finger on it. It was another game we played. It was like car mechanic simulator or something. Like this very garage, it just seems so, I'm getting deja vu. I just can't remember from where. All right, we've got our first live test subjects to put through the friggin' ringer. Line 101, it's an hour and 40 minute trip. Okay, I'm so... Oh, my office is friggin' awesome. I got a little plant too. I'm sorry to everyone about to get on board, but uh, a man's gotta make money somehow. What the hell is the out friggin', there we go. There's so many rooms to this place. I should have probably spent my money on someone that has a skill in driving the bus instead of a really cool office. All right, we are going to go save some lives. It's kind of interesting that you can mess with the air conditioning in this game. So what happens if I put the air conditioning all the way up? Does that just piss people off? Hello, everyone. The destination board should be uh, on now. If you would mind going ahead and uh, boarding the bus, we will get the hell out of here shortly. Board the bus, please. Get on the bus. Very good. Yes, do as you're told. Get the hell on the bus. There you go, ma'am. Looking good. Fantastic. Oh, it's your sister. Two look like twins. All right. Hopefully there's no one else, because I get paid by the hour, not by the passenger, so we're out of here. All right, passengers, thank you for joining us on WTF Bus Lines. Uh, you may notice from time to time that the bus will hit fixed objects. Uh, there's nothing to be worried about. Very common here in these islands, in the vacation islands. Stop signs aren't really so much of a legal issue, more like a suggestion. So we're probably not really going to be stopping at any of them. Over to your left, you're going to notice the airport. Our island airport hires only the finest airline captains with substance abuse problems. All right, as we go ahead and hop the curb over here, you may be saying to yourself, sweet baby Jesus, no, but don't you worry about it. Uh, this bus is powered with uh, six wheel drive, so we're able to hop over all of the solar lights like it's no big deal. All right, just squeeze my way through here. Yep, right like that. I don't know if this is supposed to be here or not, so we'll just this is the one thing in the game that I can't break. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh yeah, it's a tight fit right there. I feel like I did this the hard way. Like maybe I wasn't supposed to go in this driving test hell. Perfect, like a glove. Now some people would use the roundabout by going around it. I like to go straight through it. Alrighty, and as we come to a slow and precise stop, I would like to thank everyone here for joining me on WTF Co. Bus Lines. Oh, no one's getting off. More people are getting on. You poor bastards. If only you knew what's about to happen. This place is filling up. 
Tell you what, look at all these look at all these happy faces ready to get their groove on over here by the beach. They don't know that they're about to oh, what the hell? How come that guy has a legitimate cell phone? So does she. They don't know they're all about to get whiplash. Alright, man, we're doing pretty good. I wonder what the other camera angles look like. Kind of get what the hell? Oh god. What the <laughs> None of these show me the roadway! Oh, this one's pretty legit. It's like a uh, customer view. Yeah, see this is this is what <laughs> This is what it's like to be a passenger on uh, WTF bus lines. There is a slight feeling of dread and a potential worry for life, but uh, I don't know, I'd Okay. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go back to the original view. I never thought I would find a way to throw the bus over a giant curb like that. Ow. Please tell me I can jump this. Thank you. We're making it happen, folks. All right. Rain nor shine nor any sort of natural disaster is going to keep us from getting our people to their destination. Okay. All right. Let's try and not go off the side of the road again. There we go. All right. Over on the right, you're going to notice what looks like a botanical garden. Uh, that is not a botanical garden. Those are just weeds. God, it's like freaking Tetris. You got to try and put the little puzzle piece in the middle of all this craziness these roads are like way too small for this giant ass bus but somehow we've uh managed to squeeze past everything without hitting it i can't believe it now let's go ahead and uh pull right in here yeah don't hit the pedestrian don't hit the pedestrian oh we just kind of like shuffled the pedestrian to the side slightly okay i think we made it open the doors even more friggin people are getting on this bus how have we not become the bane of social media at this point? You would think that everyone would be like, OMG, almost got killed on WTF Bus Co. Do not ride. Or maybe, I don't know, everyone's like, you know, best ride of my life. It was basically free entertainment. All right, just got to squeeze our large and in charge object down the narrow corridors here. Oh, roundabout. You're so cute. Well, bam! Out of the way sign. I've decided a lot of these signs don't really need to be here. So I thought I would take the opportunity to clean up a little bit of the median. You've been caught speeding. Crap. So what happens when you're caught speeding? Is it just like a fine on, my, on the total of my amount that I get paid? Or I'm surprised that out of everything I've done in this game, speeding is the one thing that it disliked. Like not the fact that I've destroyed multiple signs or run into different cars or did a Dukes of Hazard flip off the side of a friggin' like bridge area. It's the speeding. <laughs> I'm starting to get kind of concerned. How many more freaking people are going to get on this bus? Because uh, it's starting to look pretty full. I I've got a lot of lives on board at this point and I'm getting a little nervous because my driving isn't the best. I know, I know, understatement of the year. Can I take a shortcut through here? We just go this way? Oh, it's a fence. Another sign bites the dust. Man, these poor signs, I've got it out for them. I'll tell you what, this thing is fantastic off-road. All right, welcome everyone to, I guess this is like a hotel maybe or something or like a B&B, I'm really not sure. Let all the passengers disembark. Here you go, you poor saps. Make sure to leave all your tips in the tip area. All right, everybody, get the hell out. Come on, file on out, there you go. Took a little bit. Getting these people out of here wasn't too easy. I guess, like, they come in in this door, and they leave through this door. So I'll I'll close this one up. Let's take a moment here to look around the bus, make sure everyone's happy. This guy's got his freaking hat, his derby hat on. These two girls possibly have, like, stage four PTSD by this point. Air conditioning seems to be working good. That lady is so scared she teleported through, like, six seats. Return to your company. Don't mind if I do. Service rating, 18%. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know on a scale of 1 to 10 how good that is, but it sounds pretty bad. I got zero XP for that entire endeavor. What a slap in the face. Oh, your first employee, I get to hire someone. Thank God. Because if it's just me that's going to be doing all the driving, it's not going to be a good day. Uh, yeah, employee, please let me hire someone that knows what they're doing. Oh, here we go. Willie Haas, a driver. I don't know what a lot of this means. I, I guess that's what you pay him. I'm not really sure about this. Almost looks like aiming. Oh, reliability. His reliability is garbage. Okay, let's get someone with a slightly higher reliability. Like almost anyone else. Yeah, this person has 100 out of 100. All right, go to the pin board over here with... How, how does Albert Einstein make his way into every simulation game? All right, Mirac Rose. Get in there. Okay, now I think that the employee just does it. Like we don't have to worry about anything. We have to move two days ahead. Mirac Rose had an accident. Great. They're just as freaking incompetent as I am. Oh, you can customize your license plate. There we go. Uh, okay, I think I just got like a permanent order. I don't know what it means that it's permanent. What, what am I looking at over here? Is this, this Google Plus? Nobody uses Google Plus. It's like QuickBooks? I don't know. Okay, 
We've got a bus. Some people have ridden it. Potentially we have lawsuits incoming. I'm not really sure. I decided to turn my fax machine off so that we didn't get in. Also, this is really, really important, but our water machine is empty. Um, I gotta get that fixed. Like, before I even fix the bus. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Tourist Bus Simulator. The only game that kind of fails to represent handheld mobile devices until you get past the opening area. Then, for some reason, they all render in. Also, most realistic vehicle physics ever made. 10 out of 10. Did I ever tell you guys that I was in a bus accident when I was a young kid? I was actually getting on the school bus, and right as I was stepping into the, uh, the little bus steppy area, a, like, a little sedan ran into the rear of the bus, and the bus only moved, like, six inches, and the sedan completely crumpled in on itself like a tin can. So, um, these buses are pretty stacked. They're, they're like the Terminator of vehicles. You ever been on a bus accident? You gotta let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.